Alright, time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today I will be playing some Nunu into what seems to be a blue cane, interesting. First strike doesn't, I mean, isn't really played on red cane. But I guess blue cane kind of makes sense, but eh, it's gonna be a spicy one. I don't think blue cane is gonna necessarily do very much against me throughout this game. I will be going for a tanky build on Nunu. Uh, since beginner's guide i think that is the better build for newer players there is definitely like a, a very popular style of ap nunu going around as well but it's a lot more difficult to play and yeah i don't really recommend it for people getting into learning this champ or just newer to the game in general the tank build is very strong um, very consistent as well for the most part so i'll show you how to build that and how to play that and yeah now, for the Beginner's Guide series, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out. This will have all of the champions in it. I am nearing the end. There is only a few left, so you should be able to find the champion you are looking for. And uh, I upload daily, so I mean, be sure to subscribe if it's not there yet, I suppose. Or for updates in the future as well, I, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to be getting a pretty solid leash. I don't mind that too much. Thank you. Use this here real quick. Get some extra damage with it. Good. Yeah. So for Nunu's abilities, his Q is just a bite. It does a bunch of true damage. Scales up to 1200 true damage, which is obviously great for smite potential. It will give healing. You can act, uh, you can null minions, for example, in a minion wave. If you're low HP, the healing gets increased. Rip that snowball, I guess. Grift a little too soon. And it's just great sustain tool. Can be used on champions for damage as well. But obviously the main thing is just clearing your camps and having the objective control from it. Because Nunu has very, very good objective control. Your W is a snowball, which is a little bit hard to control. It's something I definitely just have to get used to again sometimes after not playing Nunu for a bit. But for the most part, try to uh, learn landing the snowball. You don't exactly have to land it as you see because I hit it into the wall here. But as long as it's close enough, on jungle camps especially, it's just going to hit. So you should be fine on that one. Uh, it... Takes some getting used to, but overall shouldn't be that big of a deal. Your E is a snare, or a root, sorry. After three seconds, you see a circle appear around you as soon as you start using it. As you can see right here, this circle needs to be on top of the enemy you're trying to hit um, for the root to go off. And that's really that. And uh, yeah, your ult is a massive, like, circle around you, which you'll see throughout this game. And it's just... Oh, hell, what? Okay, that's a bit of a scam. I think I may have hovered the minion map. Mi um, minion map. The, <laughs> the mini map. And it curved my snowball up instead of into the camp. Because I didn't drag it properly. That's kind of a rip on my end. I mean, all it does is like slow you down by a couple seconds. Because obviously hitting the snowball is great for clear speed. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Let's go for the snowball into the scuttle here. See if I can spot a cane. There's cane. The thing about Nunu here is that there's no chance that this guy ever outsmites me on this, because I could just press that. He also tried to fight me for it, and I have face rush. As you can see, the snare goes off there. Let's flash for it. He already flashed, so there's nothing he can do. Jace didn't have any mana or HP. I noticed this by just, like, looking at the fight on the minimap here with between Echo and Jace instead of, like, hovering over it. But the Kane tried to fight me on a little bit too low HP, and early game Kane really doesn't doesn't do that you know full hp nunu as well it's going to be pretty damn difficult now we're going to use the speed up here with the w in combination because you can hold speed ups with this ability blitz is unfortunately not walking up but that kind of sucks for me because otherwise this could have been a potential hook if you would have walked a little faster maybe it's potential hook as well it's not a guaranteed hook obviously but there is in fact a ward here i assumed as much but yeah We know where Kane is, approximately. I could just walk back in here, use the speed up, and just go for it again. There's not a wards goal, and just use the speed up once again. I probably should be able to catch him. We could snare Blitz Hook, please. There he goes. A little bit late, unfortunately, so I didn't get the snare follow-up on it. Uh, she probably could have done one more auto-attack. Oh, he's dead. Nice. We take those. Very good ignite. I actually didn't think that was going to do enough damage, but... Yeah, just instantly turning back around. And I see a potential on mid here. That I can go for. Maybe I can curve in my snowball or something. 
stomp him and then walk with him the entire time here and get the snare. Perfect. This is just all using the scuttle we killed for the movement speed increase on the thing. It's very good with Nunu's W to get, uh, get a bunch of those early ganks off. In lower elos especially as well, it makes things very easy. Because a lot of lower elo players will have a harder time dealing with it or respecting certain gank angles. And we just go for dragon straight away. Now we have 800 on this and 600 on this, which means 1400 damage smite. We want to make sure you use the Q for that. I am now not going to Q this because I want to have it up for the 1400 damage smite. So the smite's not contested. I don't want to just spam my Q and miss out on it, if that makes sense. There it is. And what you do there is you press Q first and a little bit after that you press smite. It's a timing you're just going to have to get used to a little bit. Hard to explain that one. It's just like Q smite. Don't smite Q, but Q smite because smite Q is not going to line up very well. The ideal thing you want to get, obviously, is the uh, smite and... Or, like, this, the, the one number to show up, right? So you saw 1400 there instead of, like, the 800 from Q and then the 600 from smite. You want to see the number in total. And then that way you uh, don't get outsmited. And it's also, you don't want to use your Q, like, preemptively. If your team is there to do damage, let your team do damage. And if your team is not there, just try to, like, stall for Q timing to be able to get the smite off. But this is a pretty good recall. Very good pressure from us in the early game as well. We've held both, we've held mid. We're gonna go Bami Cinder and CDR Boots because we have a really good recall. If I would only have like a thousand gold, let's say, I would prioritize getting the uh, CDR Boots over the Bami Cinder because the reason I want these, they give 20 ability haste, which works really well with overall like uh, Q cooldown, which means jungle clear speed, objective clear speed. It's uh, a bigger priority. We're gonna go Bami Cinder after four clear speed as well. So the first item we're going for is Sunfire for the clear speed purposes. And the ability ace is just great on Nunu for more Qs. And the small one because the big one's practically already dead. And then the Bami Cinder there with the pet damage coming in, making it very quick to clean up. I will not be able to go top lane here. What? I feel like a bit I feel a bit scammed on that one uh, with that. I didn't think that was gonna hit the wall there, but sure, I guess. This scuttle could be up. Trying to spread out my damage to make your uh, make use of my pet. Let's do this, and we're gonna see if Top Scuttle is here. It is done, in fact. He probably sees me, but I might be able to like tease him with it, or maybe. Regardless of anything, me showing pressure there is already the the only thing I'm really looking for because this relieves pressure from Fiora and allows her to farm slash freeze the wave. So there's a better opportunity for her there to play for it, you know. Control ward is fine. I should have the opportunity to start a Rift Herald here. Squeeze past the top side here. And we should be able to do this. Kane wasn't here anymore, so I'm assuming he recalled on one bot lane. And that's what we're going to assume. Who does 800, smite the 600, so again 1400. But I'm now doing the Herald here, and we can use the eye hit as well. So I should be able to just clean this up. There you go, perfect. if I can sneak a snowball into mid lane here. The Jace is going aggressive. This is good for me. The snare. Ult him at the same time. Use the snare to your advantage. Make sure the ult hits. Perfect. Very good. And we're just going to insta-herald mid lane here for the, for the plating. Might as well. Jace is dead. He doesn't have teleport. There's nothing he can do. He should be able to get like a couple plates here. I have to be careful here that I don't walk into the cane or let him walk close to me because I will get turret aggro right away because of my sunfire. Hit him there with the Q for the face rush proc and then I think I'm just gonna go straight to top scuttle. There's nothing this guy can do to contest the top scuttle off me because I will just insta kill it anyway. We're gonna walk up to it, do smite, there we go, it's gone. Pretty smooth. I can just be very annoying here for the Jace and just freeze the wave right side out of the turret. Stank it for a bit, stand on the sideline, kite it to the side, and then this way the wave freeze is terrible for Jace. So the wave will now be positioned correctly for Echo, and then he will be able to play with that one. We're gonna back ping these. We're gonna have to be careful. We have 50 seconds on Dragon, so that means we're gonna do our top side and then recall, and then look for the uh, Dragon afterwards. Should be about timing. 
at least enough timing to where if Echo Insta starts Dragon, he will, uh, sorry, Kane Insta starts Dragon, he will not be able to finish it right away because it will take him too long. This way we also get the level ups and enough gold for the item that we want. Yeah, you want to use your E and ult as a combo, basically. So you, the right the moment your snare is about to go off on something and you're in range of it, that's when you want to press your ult. Because then your ult's pretty much guaranteed to land. I'm not going to go for tilt here because the dragon's going to spawn. I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to kill him anyway, but yeah. Sunfire first. Perfect. And then we just snowball right away to get some speed out of base. You have home guards. This is going to be especially fast because you hold onto a bunch of movement speed that way. But use this out of base to get onto the map a little bit faster i should hit the plan see if the guy is actually doing dragon right away he is not which means i see a bot lane play so we're gonna quickly mosey on over we can land a good snowball it should be good enough right okay cool Uh, Blitz. No. Okay. Cool. I wasn't. I didn't really care about misfortune. Like she could have just recall, but Blitz had enough HP to potentially help me out. Because if he starts chasing me there, there is a chance he gets me. Okay. We see a final mid lane. No, you want it? Never mind. We cancel this. I don't think he can contest me on dragon, so we can just start it up. So we have a thousand. He does have enough check stack, so his smite's going to be nine hundred. My smite's nineteen hundred. Uh, my bot lane just recalled. Mid lane's dead. So 1900 is my smite. I'm just gonna force this. I don't... Oh, what? I, mi I clicked smite on someone else, didn't I? Oh my god, I even misclicked that. My brain. Dude, I even misclicked my smite. Like, I cancelled my thing. I misclicked on flash. I have brain damage. Holy moly, I'm inting. <laughs> I just ignore that one, boys. I misclicked my Q smite on the dragon, and then I also accidentally clicked flash, cancelled my ultimate, and didn't kill the Aphelios. Dear God. Wow. He dashed into the dragon, I believe, the moment I clicked Q smite on it, and I didn't get it because my Q went, I believe, on Kane instead of the dragon, and then he got it. I feel disgusted. <laughs> oh god all right well it is what it is rip me i guess Damn. probably do this actually just walk in the snowball see if he walks up he probably will should be good perfect just chomp a minion here for some hp as you can see before he kills me Hit him with a snowball, try to walk away from him, Cuse, and there we go, finish him off. The uh, big essential part there is that we make sure we hit the Q on the minion, because you get a tremendous amount of HP, and below 50% HP your Q heals you more as well. You can insta jump a minion, get the HP from it, and then you're good. So that's what you want to do there, sustain yourself. Dude, it still feels bad the way I absolutely like I absolutely griefed that dragon fight. <laughs> Wait, executed? Okay, fair enough. Back to full HP. This is looking pretty spicy. We're seeing if we can. We're gonna come in from behind on this. See if we can get a good snowball curve into this guy. His ult's gonna go. No aggression from Fiora. My Fiora just, like, didn't want to do anything there, unfortunately. It is what it is. She could have walked up, done something, but, yeah. She walked off completely to the side and didn't want to walk forward, so I guess it's fine. I did a respectable amount of damage to it, to the guy. I think if the Fiora tried, like, was able to do something there, it should have been pretty good. Am I dying here? I am dying here. Wow, okay. Damn, I actually thought I was gonna be fine there. 
I know. I mean, I know it's an Aatrox and all that, and I'm a tank Nunu, so my damage is going to be lower. But even on that HP, I thought I was fine. I mean, Jay showed up. I guess that makes sense. Because in my head, the only one that was really going to show for that one was going to be Kane, and I didn't think he was going to be much of a threat, but Jay's definitely did a good amount of damage to me there. Most of the damage to me there, even. Fair enough. That's a death. I'll be out of base. With the home guards, you can hold to the movement speed, and then you're quite fast. Try to, like, curve your snowball past everything so you're, so you're really fast, you know? I should be able to just do this real quick, and then we'll look for the Rift Herald. I want to make sure I do that Herald before the 1955 mark. Because that's when it hard despawns when you're doing it. Should also be able to just go for this guy here. I can use the move speed increase from the circle here to use my thingy. And get a nice go play going, potentially. And that's going to be the snare into the ult. Perfect. There we go. Not bad. We saw an opportunity there. We used a circle to our advantage. I have 50 seconds on the dragon. So we're going to quickly do the herald here. Make sure this is off the map. We need the objective control. I have 8 out of 12 KP, which is really good. I should have had two dragons, but I'm an absolute idiot. So that's on me. And uh, yeah. Ooh. I want to like Actually, I, I might, might as well use it. I have another smite charge coming up, so I should be fine. Okay. I'm gonna run as a, run towards bolt as fast as I can. As we see the fight going on there, right? We want to be there as soon as we can be. Got the face rush proc. Make sure we stick on top of him. We should be good here for the most part. Yo, misfortune! Can you please? Why are you doing this? He just, uh, he should have just gone for the cane, man. He just absolutely suicided for that play for no reason, because the cane was going to be dying for free. Oh, uh, whatever, I guess. Rip me. That is an absolute lack of map awareness from Misfortune, honestly. I don't know why she wanted to suicide for the Yumi either. But, I mean, I guess I forced the cane out, so we just go for Dragon now. It should be fine. 2400 damage on my smite now, so it should be very easy to get this. Just need to make sure it's up and I don't misclick again. Okay, don't use my smite here. I'm gonna hold on to this. I beg of you, don't hook anything into the pit. There we go. Didn't time it perfectly there because you didn't see one single number, but it's pretty much on. Like, it's still very hard to outsmite. Especially uh, for the cane there. He has blue cane. That's gonna be not good for him. Also, like, cane was pretty much in base after I forced him to be very low HP, so I knew I could just start that right away. Uh, it's gonna take him a while, especially if he goes form transitioning as well. It's okay. okay. Keep up some of my jungle tempo. Don't want to drop this too much because obviously we need... I'm way too fast. Holy moly. I couldn't curve that at all. We see a bot lane situation, so we're just going to smite this real quick and see if we can run on over. Use the circle here speed up wise and then we go for it. Curve the snowball in. move with this use the snare to our advantage with the ult and then we can set up a nice play for my team we essentially one shot that guy perfect very good that's what we like to see speed up use then we just instant back because now we got the even shroud and then we look at their team i think a thorn mill is going to be very good here so that's what we're going to go for just build fitting tank items at this point is really all you have to do you can also go for like a dark seal magi if you want uh, but yeah, I'm gonna ping that I'm gonna go towards topside here. Quickly use a snowball to get onto the map quickly. The but yeah, uh, the uh, mythic, by the way, you want to go for even Stroud because it's simply the best mythic. It's also extremely cheap at 2500 gold. And it works well for your engages because as soon as you land the snowball, it will increase the damage from your teammates. Or when you land your snare on E, will increase the damage as well, which then synergizes with your ult use as well, so that's going to do more damage too. It's a very, very good mythic for damage. If your support is a support that builds even throughout, to just build Radiant Virtue instead, that would then be your mythic option. Those are the only two viable ones, really, for Nunu. Uh, for tank Nunu. If you're going AP Nunu, that's obviously an entirely different story, but yeah. 
Thank Nunu, it's this. I think my best bet is just to use Rift Herald on top. I'm gonna have to use it soon, and I think that's the only one I'm really gonna get. So we're just gonna walk the top lane and get the turret with this. I have to use the Herald here. If you use a red or a blue trinket right after Herald, you're gonna get the reset off that one. Get the bounce. There you go, perfect. Get the turret off the map. This way I open up the map completely. I was very unlikely to get it for mid turret here, because it was gonna be defended a lot better, and this way I just have to deal with just one person for it, if that makes sense. I don't know if I can do this. This is potentially a little risky, but... I can tank this essentially forever, you know, so. I need the Echo to uh, show for this. If the enemy team doesn't show for this, that would be good. But if they do, then we are gonna obviously going to have to fight them. No. Oh. I should have flashed faster. All right, fair enough. Uh, so much pressure from the enemy here. Oof. Wow. They absolutely cleaned that. What is this guy doing? Um, a lot bigger of a threat situation than I thought they were going to have there. Does he have a hook? No? Okay. Uh, Optimistic Baron, potentially. If they were, like, if we were able to do that completely off vision, that would have been great. But, I mean, we don't lose necessarily that much off it either, because we don't lose a dragon. They can't do Baron themselves, so I guess it's not too bad, but they just had an overall better position on us there. Especially after taking a bunch of Baron damage. Yo, what the hell is this? Okay. Hmm. What? No! Man. What is that blitz hook? You absolutely dis just... You just ruined me, man. There goes my entire kill opportunity. Holy moly. That is disgusting right there. I need to make sure I heal a bit here and then use the W. Ah, oh, sad. Um. Wow. I'm actually really sad about that, because I pretty much would have one-shot Kane completely with, like, a good ult use there, and Blitz hooked him out of it. Ah, uh, man. Rough, rough. Uh, Kane's dead here, so I got a free dragon anyway, which is my main objective. Come on, man. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. It's worth dying for. I'm not worth a shutdown anyway. Sad, 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 sad. One blitz hook determines the entire fight for the enemy team there, and that really sucks. Ah, uh, well, I guess it is what it is. It's okay. Uh, against this team as well, I'm just gonna go Frozen Heart next. They're full AD, so I don't have to build any magic resist. Uh, which means I probably should switch my boots here too, to be fair. At this point, that's fine. The steel caps are going to do great numbers. We just built the CDR boots for like early game tempo with uh, extra cooldowns and stuff, which is nice. But at this point, I can definitely sell them potentially for the steel caps for the damage reduction. All I really have to build is just a bunch of armor here, which is actually kind of nice. Still got the dragon, which is good. Should have been Drake Soul if I didn't grief the other dragon, but that's on me. So it is what it is. Very quick out of base there. Probably gonna have to rotate the bolt lane pretty quickly. Actually, if I look at the situation, right, they kill Kane right there. I'm gonna have to just kill the wave here real quick. I don't want to make it that obvious. Oh god, this is not gonna be good, is it? Let's see if I can help this out. Use the speed up here. Hold the speed. This is optimistic. I got the snare and I could just run out. It's fine, but... Just 
thinking I'd have a little bit more potential there. Let's... That's no camp here. That's sad. No! That's gonna kill me! Okay, that's disgusting range. Oh, the clean misfortune ultimate is what we love to see there. How greedy are you? Jesus Christ. I need to heal from a camp right now. Oh. Oh my god, Jace, you are so scary. Yeah. I don't know. I think we could... Like, the second they killed Kane, if they would have just completely backed off and gone for Baron, I think we could have had it. Honestly. Heal myself back to full here, and then we can look for this mid play on this turret. Where's my team? Can we kill this guy, please? What is this? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's so, so, so sad, man. Fuck, you know. He's dead at least, that's good. Holy, these fights are insane. <laughs> I don't even know, man. We got Scuttle, of course. Just need more armor. I'll be fine. I'm gonna be very difficult to kill in like a little bit. I'm already already pretty damn difficult to kill though, like for sure, but you know. They have quite a few cancels on me as well. I kind of really want to look for this Baron. What is that snowball? I didn't even... Okay, sure. Okay. It's Night Harvest. Okay. I'm just going to do Baron here. This is just... I'm just starting this. Let's go. There is no good opportunity. Like, we see the Aphelios on bot lane. We see Yumi by herself on mid, which means the enemy team doesn't have a great position at all. There's a control ward on Baron, so they should be free here. This is free. Kane is going for top. They have no idea. Again, the smite thing, 2400. So right about now. There we go. Good. And then we instantly use the snowball. We go for the top gank. Curve this into him. They both flashed, which is good for me. Get the snare with the ult combo. There we go. Good. Make sure Aatrox dies. And then we scout here a bit. We need to make sure we get the dragon in 30 seconds. So that's going to be one of my main play potentials here. I don't care. That's a smite use. I'm okay with that. We're instantly just going to use the movement speed here towards the dragon. Because they said they have a bunch of... like They're basically all top lane. And I just want to make sure I get the priority towards the dragon here. If red's up, it's not. Use the plant. Get that out of the way. We should be able to burst this down. Well, so again, a 2400 smites on... Like, the, the, the other guy can't win that. Can use one more Q here. And then I have to use my next Q to get it. I swear to God. Okay. But it's fine, I guess. Use the Q or the, the, the try to land the snare, which timed out not too well. But use my W right away in his face to knock him up so he can't like dash over the wall or anything. The Kane tried to smite from too high HP with his entire combo, but he didn't get it. Because, yeah. I was a little bit scared that my team was gonna keep bursting it. And I probably should have just held my Q the entire time instead of like trying to sneak in one more, because that would have just been safer. 2500 gold for this. 27 actually. 500 gold is a lot. I don't really think I'm going to get that. I should get, get the bolt wave here real quick. I don't want to leave the wave like that. Get this. And then I just need... How much gold? 300. That's going to that's gonna be these camps and then I'll have it. It's pretty good. Please don't do that. I need my item, buddy. Are you... S really, man? Why don't you just take the bolt wave instead of taking my camp? It's more XP. I don't get it. It's really annoying because now I'm just, I just don't have the gold for this yet. Ah, uh, why did she take my camp? Oh, that's so annoying, man. It really is. 
Because now I just have to waste so much more time actually, like, picking up all of this. Jesus Christ. She should have just taken the bolt wave instead of taking my camp. Whatever. We pick up the frozen art here. We move out of base. Hold on to the movement speed with a W, so we're quite fast, at least. Or it should be able to, like, reach mid lane very quickly, as you can see. That's the home guards W combination. It's gonna go reasonably far as well. They are very much going for top. They leave Aphelios in mid, which is gonna be quite good. But I would say that's quite a lot of time wasted there. If I didn't have to chase for another wave for that item, I could have been, like, in position for this turret faster. Probably with Varen still as well. Clean this up. We want to look for, like, a bolt lane here as well. My dragon control is there, apart from that one. And we have both Rift Heralds, I think, as well. I don't know why Echo is, like, not going for this turret. Like, one hit from Echo E, this turret would have been dead, which would have relieved a lot of map pressure in and of itself. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, next thing is gonna be that Baron. So we're gonna look for that one again. My next item. I mean, honestly, I could probably just go for, like, Warmox for additional sustain purposes. Because I have a tremendous amount of armor. I don't think there's another armor item I can really pick up. I mean, I guess I could go Deadman's Blade. Because I don't need magic just right. Like, normally you have, like, a Force of Nature or something in that slot, but I don't need it this game. Because I have no magic damage. Which is really good for me as a tank. I want to not play too aggressive here. Like, I would like to take these camps and stuff, but... Don't put my money. Good. This should be fine. I'm way too impossible for them to kill. Get the snare. I mean, he can't walk back down now. If the Yumi walks back down here as well, she's dead. So this is perfectly fine for me. Hit him. Make sure to snare him as well. Good. We're just using, like, my tankiness pressure there to just force it out completely. There's no reason to, uh... I don't know why they're not just... Hello? Why aren't we just ending the game, boys? Hello? Are we good? Just hit the end! What? Like... <laughs> what are they doing? They're just getting the enemy team to respawn or something. Alright, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, cool. Ah, uh, pretty good. And that is it for Nunu. And I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 19k damage, which is respectable. The fact that I would damage my misfortune is probably kind of sad, to be honest. Jace did a very good amount of damage. He was uh, holding his holding his team into it. Very good. We're not expecting to do a lot of damage on Nunu. We're expecting to do a respectable amount of damage for the most part, and that's it. True damage at 2400. We have damage to objectives, which is obviously the main thing here, at 73.6. This is the big thing for Nunu that you have to make sure you try to keep up. Get the dragons, get the heralds, get the barons, all of it. You can easily baron at 20 minutes if you have like two items, which is very easy to do. Because Ever yeah, even Shroud's extremely cheap at 2500 gold. And also Sunfire is very cheap at 2800 gold. And with those two items alone, you can easily do the baron. If you don't get spotted, it's obviously easier, which kind of happened this game. And also like a quick dragon soul con uh, control is very easy. Because for the most part, you shouldn't lose your smites. Apart from if you're me and you miss the other smite combo and then completely grief the play, but you know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, healing done at 34.1. That's colossal. A lot of sustain coming out there from that. Damage taken here at 45.8. We obviously want to make sure we are the tank this game. We want to make sure we position ourselves for our teammates. Look for the engage with E, with your W, with your ult combos to be able to set up plays for your teammates to do damage while you tanked it. And we have self-mitigated damage here on top of it at 61.4. So we took about, like, uh, what is that, 100 and something, 107k damage or something. Pretty damn solid, not bad at all. Gold earned, 14k. And for the runes, uh, 24 face rush activations, 23 Nimbus Cloak activations. About 17,000 extra celerity distance. Water walk in here as well for, like, better snowball potential. Relentless, again, for the same purpose because uh, you hold on to a bunch of speed, and then Cheap Shot is the best rune to combine with Relentless. Because as you saw, the respectable 1200 damage in this game, definitely not bad for just a, like a secondary option like that. So yeah, I mean, that's really it for Nunu.
and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video bye